year former employee with Warren County Human Services is now in jail. Rebecca Butcher is accused of stealing thousands of dollars in Medicaid funds from the county. Nine News reporter Annette Pegler is live in our newsroom with how prosecutors were able to fight fraud. Annette. Well, Tanya, this is the 11-page document Warren County prosecutors filed today, which breaks down the 19 counts Rebecca Butcher currently faces. Prosecutors say Butcher was not only stealing Medicaid funds for herself, she was also helping her friends. For more than two decades, this was the place Rebecca Butcher spent most of her time. She was a senior level supervisor with the Warren County Department of Human Services. But after a year long investigation, Warren County prosecutors say she was ripping the county off. A Medicaid recipient tipped them off. An individual who had come in and who had made payments into uh, the med as part of the Medicaid spend down program, and uh, that individual had a receipt for. Uh, having made those payments, but did not have a corresponding uh, release of the Medicaid benefits. That's what prompted an investigation because prosecutors say the people who should have been receiving the benefits were not. They say Butcher approved more than $80,000 in Medicaid and food stamp benefits for people who were not eligible. They say she also stowed $77,000 from the county Medicaid program for herself. The allegations were confirmed during an audit of the state. That prompted prosecutors to charge Butcher with theft in office, theft, and tampering with records. The tampering with records counts of the indictment relate to the uh, fraudulent entries that were made in the computer system that allowed these particular individuals to obtain Medicaid benefits as well Seven as to Seven people obtain benefited from Butcher's benefits. alleged actions, all whom prosecutors say Butcher knew beforehand. Officials say they are closely working with human services to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. Butcher is now at the Warren County Jail. Prosecutors say she didn't have any previous criminal history, and because of her long tenure with the county, they were taken off guard. They are still trying to figure out a motive. She will be arraigned on Wednesday afternoon. Tanya? Annette, thank you.